from tonight's debate. And you can keep tabs with the countdown clock on the top right of the screen right there. And also, here's a live look at the stage with five podiums now, all set for the leading contenders to square off for the final time before Saturday's primary here in New York City. The excitement has inspired supporters of the candidates to gather outside the CBS Broadcast Center on the west side. This is a live look at 57th Street as we speak. We have team coverage for you tonight. Let us begin right here with CBS. Yes, two's Dick Brennan. What a scene. Maurice and Christine, with just two days until early voting beginning, there is no doubt this debate could be the most important of the campaign. And today, a stunning twist from the man leading in the polls, Eric Adams, who now says he will show up. I'm going to do the debate. Eric Adams reversing course, now saying he will join the debate tonight here at WCBS. Adams originally said he would attend a vigil for 10 year old Justin Wallace, killed by gunfire over the weekend in Queens. But now he says he fears he would be a distraction for the boy's family. I reached out to them and I said, listen, I don't want to politicize the, the murder of this 10 year old child. If I come and don't do the debate, everyone is going to be there and they're going to be talking about the debate and not just it. Adams has been under fire after a report questioned his Brooklyn residency and just how much time he spent at a co-op that he co-owns with his girlfriend in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Today he produced Easy Pass records which show only a handful of trips across the Hudson. But what about other vehicles that he might have used? There are probably three, four times where I just took the bus over. I'm going to see the person that I love. I mean, what's, what's wrong with on weekends, stopping to see the person that you love. When, when did we get when did we get so so bizarre? The explanations did not satisfy Andrew Yang, who no doubt will follow this attack at the debate tonight. It's remarkable that two days before early voting, we're literally trying to figure out where one of the candidates lives. Mario, Mario, Mario. Maya Wiley hopes to capitalize tonight on her recent momentum, helped by an endorsement from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and triggering a surge that's put her in second place in the latest poll. It is debate day. What New Yorkers want to hear is what we're going to do, and I look forward to seeing the borough president tonight at the debate. The debate will likely focus on crucial campaign issues, including crime. We are now facing an epidemic of crime and gun violence. Today, crime rates across the city are rising in nearly all categories. Now, if there are any major gaffes tonight by the candidates, they'll only have a couple of days for to clean them up before early voting begins Saturday. And this will be ranked choice voting where voters get to choose their top preferences in order. So there is so much riding tonight on this debate. Maurice and Christine. All right. Thank you, Dick.